Hey guys, this is Simon from Fateless. This video is gonna be super cool. We're gonna share with you some of the work we've been doing so far. Now, I get told off a little bit when I'm like sharing stuff we're actually doing. It's like, hell Hades, stop leaking all of our stuff. But honestly, the whole point around the whole Fateless kind of, I guess, ethos, the way we're gonna work is we wanna share as much as we can in different stages as we're progressing. So right now, we're at prototype stage. We're actually at pre-production, which means that even the prototype we're producing is what we would class as our common build. Yeah, and over time it would go common, uncommon, rare, epic, legendary. So the prototype right now is about testing very basic mechanics. It's about understanding the math behind the game, and it's about showcasing really some of the very early thinking. So I'm gonna take you through our white box level. That means like the very earliest stage of production. Then kind of show you what that looks like if you rendered it into, you know, a boss situation, uh, which Magic Media have been doing with us. And then I'm going to show you some of the initial art style conversation. So not the art we'll see in the game, but some of the style behind the art that we really love. Now, before I get into showing you everything, we are sponsoring Method. Um, Dan did a video just the other day, actually, talking about the race to world first, why we think it's a great sponsor for us. And there's also a juicy giveaway going on right now with Method, uh, if you don't check out their stream, I will pin all of that information down below if you wanna get involved. Fateless have actually sponsored with a beautiful Starforge gaming PC worth nearly $3,000. And there's a bunch of other prizes up for grabs as well. But aside from all that, actually, if you were ever a World of Warcraft fan, watching some of this Race to World First stuff, it's another level. So go and check out Dan's video. Uh, go and check out Method as well. But yeah, let's get to the prototype stuff. So let's get into the white box. And I guess, what does white boxing mean? It's, it's kind of like the very earliest stage of, of production. We're producing a level in, this is going to be in Unity as it stands right now. And you can kind of get a feel for what we're doing. So, you know, the, the type of size, in fact, let's just go back a second. The size of your heroes, uh, and obviously you would zoom in on the map versus the size of the landscape. We're designing statues and all that type of stuff. Um, and we're actually signing off on some of those arts. This is not the actual art, but we're signing off on some of that art already. You're getting a feel for what these this type of game is. You're kind of going through waves of enemies in, in the kind of right setting to then eventually face a mini boss or a boss or, or whatever you're gonna do. And I guess here we were looking at, okay, well, let's just let's just take a dragon as a mini boss. Not saying this is in the game, but this is this is what it would feel like. And then it's like, okay, well, what does that look like when you actually turn it into, um, you know, the game? You know, what what could that feel like in game? And then you kind of get more like a render of the actual boss. Uh, and this is some of the stuff that we've been showing actually for you know in terms of like investment and all that type of stuff. So it's like getting a feel for what we can do, what we can work with and some of the art style that will come through. And I guess focusing on this, we were actually able to see some of the, like the back of house. You know, how do you get to this type of position of a boss and you know, what, it, what does it look like? How do you kind of play around with the statues? So this is one of the developers actually kind of playing around with this environment in his tools. And you can kind of see how uh, you add different lighting sources to really kind of like you know, bring the, the environment to life. You can actually see the the world's generally like kind of like a floating um, amount of a texture and what have you, polygons behind a nothing background. That's to save some of the, the load on your mobile devices or PC or whatever in terms of size of game and that type of thing. And you can kind of then see, you know, how you can play around with some of the different items and what have you in the world. It's actually a very, very cool tools um, that these guys are able to use. So... This gives you a very early feel of, of some of the stuff we're doing, some of the stuff we're playing around with, and I guess how we're kind of working our way towards a prototype that we can actually test. You know, we were actually testing six different heroes and different mechanics right, well, in the next couple of weeks through the prototype. So let's talk about art style then, because this is something which is close to my heart. I actually believe that game mechanics and cool uh, stuff within the game is one pillar, but art for me is huge. Like if we cannot come in with a, a quality of art, which is at least as good as what already exists in the best games, but honestly better than that, considering we're coming out a few years after, 
then we're failing. That's, that's my view. We fail if we don't do that. So what we, we're doing here is we're kind of like mocking up artboards. And, and this is, again, not stuff you're going to see in game, but basically we start with this type of conversation of what do we actually want? Yeah, what are we looking for? What do we mean when we, we kind of like have different terminology? And our, our art director is actually like, you know what, I always like to start with a map when I'm, when I'm kind of like working on this type of feel of game. So it's kind of pulled this together, uh, very, very kind of rough stuff. And then he was like, yeah, you've, you've mentioned a lot, Fateless Guys. You've mentioned a lot that you want a dark fantasy feel. And, and the question literally was, do you know what that means? Like sometimes you might believe you mean dark fantasy when actually you mean like this fairy tale style. So he kind of showed us some really cool influences around, you know, what different characters could feel like in this game if it was one style and almost like made the same type of characters in the other style or, you know, some, some points of reference, I guess. And then it was like, okay, well, you know, what would the world feel like if it was more like a, a fairy tale fantasy? And again, was able to kind of show us a, it's the same image, but in a dark fantasy vibe. If you look at this, it's basically the same situation, but in a dark fantasy. And I'm like, damn, I love them both. Um, and then he was like, right, well, you know, what could a level terrain feel like in this, this world versus this world? And again, it's all stuff for inspiration. It's to make sure that we're making the right decisions early on. And then we started to look at, you know, well, what does weaponry look like in this different style? What could the heroes kind of, you know, be portrayed as and the enemies, I guess. And I guess it's just kind of giving you a feel, a flavor for the type of conversations we're having back of house around this stuff. And then obviously, I mean, this is nothing really to do with, with game or, or design or whatever, but it's more about talking UIs. How much of the screen do we want covered? What do we definitely want to show on the screen versus, you know, what do we not? And really, this kind of just gives you a flavor. It's not, as I say, it's not any of the stuff that we're going to see in game. Although I've got to say, some of the dark fantasy stuff I'm already kind of coming from, like, damn, this is my jam. Like, this is super sweet. And I could definitely see these type of characters coming through in our game. So I'm really kind of like getting sold on this feel. Not that I dislike the, the kind of, you know, the more fairy tale stuff, but definitely if I'm looking at what's my preference, personally, it's over on this side of the, the, the map. So I guess let me know what you think. As I say, don't tell me, oh my God, this, this white level looks crap because it's a prototype, right? It's, it's the very early stages and this is where it's scary to, to share stuff. So let me know what you think. Let me know what styles you feel like are, are kind of like your jam. And is, is it anything which I'm showing you here or actually would you be like, Fateless, back to the drawing board. Anyway, I've been Simon from Fateless. Have a good weekend. Oh, don't forget the giveaway stuff that we spoke about earlier. Go and support Method in their kind of search for world first in World of Warcraft and enter the giveaway and try and get yourself this juicy PC, which we have donated. But there's also a bunch of other sponsors that have donated stuff as well. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you soon.